Hello dudes and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my thumbnails. There's not a big secret to this and I like keeping my thumbnails pretty simplistic. It does help to have a good thumbnail, of course, it's not the only reason why you would be successful, but it still helps. So I'm going to show you guys how I make my thumbnails. But before I get into that, I want to let you guys know that I use Photoshop, but I realize Photoshop is expensive. I think it's like $10 a month or something like that. And there's plenty of free photo editors out there that you guys can try out. Um, I didn't see GIMP on here, but GIMP is another good one that I used to use. You guys can feel free to use GIMP. And you can do the exact same things I use. I don't use all the hidden features in Photoshop. I just use a couple of things, and I'm just used to it, so I stick with it. All right, so one of the first things I like to do sometimes is pick out a few fonts that I like because the font can be very important. I don't always use words in my thumbnail, but if I do, I want to make sure I have a nice font. So I always go to this defont.com. Make sure, however, that you click the 100% free under the More Options tab. Otherwise, you will not be able to use the font legally. <laughs> you may be able to get away with it for a little while, but they'll catch you. They always do. Anyways, let's see. This font's pretty cool. I think I'll get this one, so I just click Download it. All right, now I'm going to go into my photo editor, and I picked out a photo I want to use for my thumbnail. It's actually one of the battle mode maps, which is Cove, I believe. Yes, it's Cove. All right, and then I go over here, and I select my text editor. Right about here, I'm going to type in, oh, let's try battle mode, right? Battle mode. All right, now I want to change the font, so I'm going to do that over here. Let's see, this one, this one that we just got looks pretty cool. Might I add, I like that. Um, now we're going to actually add some stroke. I think it would look a little bit better with some stroke on the font. And yes, it does. I think so. It makes it a little bit easier to read. makes it kind of pop out a little bit, which is good because the thumbnails are small, so you want to be able to read them. Of course, you don't want to cover the entire image with just the words because the thumbnail, you should be able to see a little bit of the background. So I like that. It's not too big. It's good. So that's about how I make my thumbnails. But uh, how I say them is I like to save them as a JPEG, and then I put them in my thumbnail folder. I save them like this. Let's see, battle mode. We'll just put uh, battle mode and then cove. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Save it. And I want the highest quality. As long as it's under 2 megabytes, you can upload it to YouTube as a thumbnail. And as you can see, it's 1.3, so that'll be fine. And I'll click OK, and then it will save. And just like that, I have my thumbnail. One more quick thing is sometimes I like to have a little bit of a border. So what I do is I click Stroke, and I put it on the inside. And then I can change the color if I want. And that way, I have a little bit of a border, which is quite nice. I could even change the size. Let's see, we'll make it 10. And then I have a nice little border. I don't always use this. I use this for my vlog video sometimes. But if you guys like a border, then there you go. And you guys can pretty much do whatever you want in your thumbnail, but this is how I make mine. You guys were curious, so I thought I would let you guys know, and I hope you dudes enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.